Jared and Jensen in those police outfits. <laughs> hey y'all. Hey. I can hear you. So I'm going to I'm going to give this lady a little air shift for her question. You can just talk amongst yourselves <laughs> over here doing that. I mean, I am a classy lassie. No, I'm not giving my sunglasses away. <laughs> You should put them on the other now side I, then. Now I look cheap because I've not given my sunglasses away. I got them from a second hand store actually, so <laughs> it's called recycling. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Mint. Now I have she to just, ask you she a question. She literally stole the prize at your hand. <laughs> Wait, I'll ask a question. You're so naughty. <laughs> That's why we love you. Um, okay. well, what would happen mm -hmm. if Abaddon and Rowena were in an episode together? All hell would break loose. <laughs> I mean break loose. You just Done. let everyone out? Yeah. Like Jurassic Park? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All the demons, everything. Clean that up. The Winchesters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clean that out. <laughs> I think they'd have to come and ask us for help. I think so. And maybe we could take our time and go, mm, maybe. Oh, maybe I'll help you. Maybe yeah. You know. And they should do it in cop costumes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just can't get the image of both them and that. Was it P PVC? I don't know what that was. I, I think <laughs> it kept me warm, though. <laughs> I think it was a man made fiber. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing it wasn't a natural fiber. <laughs> How much did we pay for them? <laughs> Not very much. <laughs> it was very warm. It was, it was um, slightly moist in the inside. <laughs> do, you have, do, you have, do you have a question? You can ask us both. Yes. I'm, I'm a teacher, and so I wanted to ask you if you have some advice for my students. Advice from Abaddon and Rowena? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> what what uh, age do you teach? I, I teach middle school. What's that? To a Scottish person? A seventh grade, a 12 and 13 year old. Oh, right. Like, so that's like first year for me in Britain. Sorry, this is working out. <laughs> working out. Stream of consciousness, this is called yeah, yeah. turnover. Um, on a serious note, um, I would, you know, I think I, that's such a tender age. You know, I have a middle schooler. It's kind of a, it's a, I feel like someone someone had a birthday here yesterday and they were like, I'm 15, and I, I kind of reflected and I was like, gosh, if I knew what I know now, right? And so um, I just think as, as leaders in young people's lives, we have a responsibility to show them that they're powerful and that they're strong and they're beautiful and, um, and help them to grow. That's what you're doing, so thank you. <laughs> I, I am, I'm doing this thing with my dad every Sunday when I'm home, I Skype him and I, he doesn't know it, I'm recording him. <laughs> I downloaded the software because you can record Skype calls um, because he's getting older and uh, I'll get the son. But anyway, I said to him, what advice would your parents, like my grandparents, give a young person now? And I knew it and we said it at the same time, the words came out of our mouths at the same time, we went, work hard. And it's like I said, it's a, it's a secret power. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't seem to be trendy to say it, does it? Nowadays, it doesn't seem to be a cool thing. But it's like, work hard and like you get to do what you want to do in life. That's yeah, I, I grew advice. up with work hard, play hard. Yeah, you're good at the playing hard. I, I saw you last night. I, I went home and you were still out. Yeah, I saw yeah. you. Yeah, good girl. But I work hard. I have four kids. I work hard. Yeah, you do. You work your job. That's why you've got. That's and then I play hard. hard. That, that's the way it is. <laughs> Ridiculous. So she's got her hair tonged. She's got it tonged, tonged. So the other day we're all going out for dinner and uh, we're on this group text. And so Ruth had this appointment to have her hair done. Well, oh, what are you giving? Do you want to? Do you want to announce your gift? Tea bag. <laughs> You're so generous. What a lover. So we're all going out for dinner and we're sort of. Uh, back and forth on, on text and figuring out where we're going and, and Ruth's getting her hair done. And she's like, oh, I'm going to be a bit late. I'm getting tonged. It costs extra. And I'm like, damn it, why did 
wanted to cancel my appointment. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a translation thing. Like it's what it means mean. getting your hair curled. Do you, you know that? Tonged? Tonged? <laughs> Don't you wish you had that appointment? <laughs> so naughty. <laughs> Seriously? You don't know? Oh, anyway, and, and we, we should leave, leave the tonguing for now. <laughs> we should walk away from the tonguing. And walk the PVC. Away. And the PVC and the... Oh, okay, <laughs> next. <laughs>